Welcome to part two of the three-part Excel tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use just three Excel functions. The first two are index and match, which work in conjunction with each other. The last one is the function ifError, which is another way to handle errors. What I have in front of me is a sample report from Prosper 202. This is the keyword report under the Analyze tab in Prosper 202. If you do not use Prosper, don't worry. This lesson will still apply to you. Just use the same functions and logic to analyze similar reports from different tracking software. So our goal here is to populate the same columns that we have done for the POF daily creative delivery report as we did in part one. We did this in part one by populating the gender, age range, and image codes for each of these keywords. We're gonna do the same here we could use the same mid and find functions that we did in part one, but I want to show you how to use index and match. So that's what we're going to use here. I'm going to go to the previous report and copy over the columns. Okay, and let's also highlight these columns so that we know we made the change. So now to find the gender, we're going to use the function index. What index does is allows you to specify a particular range and find the value that you need from that range through a lookup. So first let's specify the range. We're gonna select the gender range and we're gonna hit F4 once. So doing it once will lock this range in place no matter where you copy the formula. So we're gonna hit it one more time so that we're only locking the rows. So as we copy over the formula in our Prosper 202 sheet, only the columns will be changing, not the rows. And then we need to specify the row number that our data needs to be extracted from. We can't know that, so we're gonna have Excel help us. We're gonna use the function called match. And we're gonna look up our keyword. And this time around, we're gonna hit F4 three times so that we are only locking the column. The second parameter is the lookup array. We need to go back to the POF report and select the keyword. So we're gonna look up the keyword from that column to extract the gender value from the other column. And lastly, we need to specify a match type. And we're gonna hit zero for exact match. And we're done. So it looks like I found the right value. We're just gonna copy over the formula just to see if it works. And it found the correct values for all the other columns as well. So now all we have to do is fill down. And it should find all the necessary values that match up to each of these keywords from the POF report. So now what if the report is, is larger than 37 rows? We have to anticipate. For this example, let's assume 200 rows. So we're gonna fill these formulas down, but we've got errors here. In part one, I showed you how to avoid this error by adding an if conditional in the beginning of the formula. We're still gonna do this, but we're gonna do it in a different way. We're gonna use the if error formula instead. So type in if error. What if error does is it'll calculate the formula that you typed in and if there's an error resulting from that formula, then it will return whatever you put as the value if error. So we're gonna put blank, and we're gonna copy this formula into all of these cells. Let's check again. Seems to work just fine. So that's about it for part two. We've got a lot of work to do in part three, where we will combine all of this data into a coherent, easy to read table. See you in the next video.